This video demonstrates how to use the raw data from your survey, enter in Excel, and sort the data by gender, and do a frequency count. In this survey, I ask the student to answer their interest in different subject matter on a 1 to 5 Likert scale. 1 is least interest, 5 is the most interest. Then I do a graphic a line chart to see the difference between genders on their interest in different subject matters. So back to raw data. First, you need to sort the content before you can do a frequency count. So highlight the data first by dragging it from the cell downward. Then go to data, choose sort. Here you can set the criteria. You want to sort by the subject matter or by gender. Here I choose gender. So click OK. Now you see it's all sorted by gender. Next, I want to do a frequency count. I want to know how many choose 5, how many choose 4 for math. So there's a function called frequency in Excel. You need to go choose the, first you label them first by gender. So I have two set of labeling. And you put the criteria here. I want to know how many 5, how many 4, how many 3, how many 2's. And then you put your cell in where you want the data, the count, the frequency count to be entered. Then I go to insert, choose function. Then I go to choose frequency. You may not see frequency right here, so you can type in frequency in this box for the search. Since I have it already, so I'm going to click on frequency and choose OK. Then I'm um, ask what's the data array that refers to the range of data you want to perform this function. So I can click on this icon here and then go to choose my range of data. I want to just look at female first. So I select all the data for the female students and click back on this icon to go back to the function argument window. Bin array refer to the reference or the criteria I want to set for this function that I refer to I want to know how many fives, how many fours, how many three, how many two, how many one. So I select this data, uh, bin array. Then I click OK. Now I see this function has been entered into this cell. It has my data arranged and bin array. And the next will be using some function key. Uh, PC, once you see this data range has been highlighted, the next thing you need to do is execute, execute this uh, function by using this function key. For PC user, you will select the range and hit F2 key to see that range of data being selected. And then you choose Control Shift Enter to execute the function. For Mac user, again, you select the range. You use Control U key to show the range of data that's been selected. And you, you use Command plus Return key. Hold on them together to execute the function. So let me go back to my Excel spreadsheet to show you how to do this. So I need to get out of the function mode first. I will on, I'm on a PC, so I choose Shift, Control, Enter. F step one, select, select the range. Step two, hit F2 key. Step three, hit Shift, Control, and Enter all together. Now you can see I have one five for the female and one four for the female and two threes. So that's the correct number. Next, I can do the same thing for English. But instead of doing all the com uh, and uh, insert a function again from the insert menu, I can copy the function from this B18 cell, which already has the function. So I select this, let me get out of it first. I only want to select this cell. 
and then move my cursor to the lower right corner of this cell B18 and here my cursor become a cross and then drag it to the right and that will copy the function how do I know like double click on English you will show me all the function the data range and bin array you notice the bin array is not selected correctly so I need to make sure it stay here stay constant using A18 to A22 there's one quick fix first I need to get out of this mode shift control enter to get out I'm gonna go back to the original function key and here I put a dollar sign in front of the column alphabet to tell sorry it's a ampersand sign excuse me it's a dollar sign let me try that it should be a dollar sign let's experiment with it and shift control enter get out and now I'm gonna copy this function over and then when I click on this one the new function has been copied to the English subject you notice the bin array stays the same from A18 to A22 and the data range has been moved one column to the right so I'm gonna get out of this I'm gonna check for sports shift control enter I'm gonna double click on this functions the cell with the function you also show now the data range has been moved to D column D and the bin array stays at the same column A so that's good control shift enter together to get out so now I'm gonna perform the function to ch see how many people choose five or four or three for the English subject method so highlight the range and F2 key and then shift control enter then you'll give me the, all the answers again we do the same thing for sports highlight make highlight the range hit F2 key and control shift enter together then you'll give me all the frequency count let me go back for Mac user the function key you will select the range and use control U instead of F2 key and then hold down command and return key together now I have the frequency count for female student oh I forgot the E here so I'm gonna add E and you can do the same thing for the male students but in consideration of time I'm going to just do this for one gender and next I'm going to show you how to do a graphic I can again select this frequency counts that has been performed uh, tabulated and then go to insert chart or I can click on this uh, chart wizard icon next you can choose a column bar or line chart in this case I, I think it will look easier on a line chart so I go to click next and again you give you a preview of your the graphic you can see if you change series in rows it will show different format uh, in this case I'm going to use series in columns so it will show me the frequency counts for different subject matters again go next now I can provide a title interest and the X axis will be the scale the Y axis will be the frequency and next you can choose to end, uh, insert a chart into a new sheet or as a raw data here so I'm gonna just put it in as a raw data here since it's a small chart finished so that's your graphic you can move it uh, to a Word document or Excel or PowerPoint or just leave it in Excel and put it to a different to a, 
uh, different areas so you won't block your raw data uh, because the limitation in space so I'm going to put it right above the data so that's how you convert a set of raw data and do can perform a frequency function and translate the results into graphic format.